Okay, I'm going to give you an example of a piecewise function where a limit will not exist. Okay, so here's a piecewise function. You have f of x that's split into two parts. And if you were to graph those two parts, uh, paying attention to the x squared subtract 1, the only part of the graph that we, whoops, the only part of the graph that we care about are the values of x that are less than 0. So this would be that graph right there. And then the second piece is x plus 2. Well, that's just a linear. And then we only care about the x values that are greater than or equal to 0. So there's this big gap. So the left and the right do not agree. Um, so the answer would be does not exist. But here's an easier way to do it than graphing, although graphing is a great way to do it. See this zero right here? If you plug zero in into, uh, did I just lose it? If you plug zero into that function, zero squared is zero, zero subtract one is negative one. And then if you plug 0 into this function, 0 plus 2 is 2. When those heights do not agree, you know right away that uh, the limit will not exist. And this is what you write for your answer if you are doing homework or in an exam. If you have a piecewise and the heights are going to be different, either you found out graphically or just numerically that it's not going to exist, there's two different functions here. Well, those two functions are parts of the f of x function. So you just write the limit as x approaches 0, f of x does not exist. So it doesn't matter which functions are here. It doesn't matter. You could have a piecewise function that looks like this. You could have a constant function. And what we're going to look at is for all the, the x is greater than 1. And then you could have. Um, an x squared function and all for all the x's that are less than or equal to 1. Well, we, no matter what you do, this height will always be 5. And when you plug 1, you can't plug 1 into this because that's just a horizontal line. 1 squared is 1. Those heights are different. So if this is f of x, and we're trying to find the limit as x approaches 1, then you write the limit as x approaches 1. f of x is equal to does not exist. And you might even want to show your teacher how you know that. Either you, you are going to show it graphically or you're going to use substitution into both of the equations to show, yeah, they're not going to be the same height. All right, that's it for it does not exist piecewise.